you're about to have your mind blown. This is probably the most useful modeling tool in Blender because this simple trick makes it so easy to make cables, wires, pipes, veins, ropes, plants, canopy, whatever. You can even use this to make custom stencils and icons for cars and logos and decals and stuff like that, but that's a different story. We'll get to that later. Here's how it works. We have a bunch of cables hanging from the underside of this boiler that I made the other day, and they need to be kind of smooth, round, and organic looking, right? So the best way to do that is with a curve, but it's not what you think it is because everybody's getting this wrong so i'll place my cursor down here somewhere in the corner by the lower side of the boiler i'm gonna add a new curve and i'll add a path curve because i think it's the easiest to work with now i'm gonna rotate this by about 90 degrees i'll delete the top vertices because i don't need those and i'll just move these other vertices around and maybe extrude them into a shape which i think is pretty nice for a cable to be hanging down here i'm gonna go to the side view and adjust this a little bit more just so it fits a little bit better but this is the path that i want my cable to follow now the rookies are going to tell you to take a little cylinder add a curve modifier to it and apply it to this curve that we just created over here but then you have to adjust the axes then you have to add an array modifier to stack this a couple of times then you have to make sure you have the right axes in the array modifier you have to increase the count you have to make sure you have the right size. It's a pain in the ass to work with a ray and curve modifier, and it takes forever. You don't have to do this. It's a much quicker way to make cables, okay? So get rid of this. So here's the easiest way to make a cable or a rope or whatever. Take this curve object, go to this little menu down here. It's called Object Data Properties. It looks like a green little curve. Then scroll down to Geometry, open the Bevel menu, set this to round, and just increase the depth. And look what happens when you increase the value for this. Now, instead of just having an infinitely thin curve here, you actually have a three-dimensional object, all right? And you can control how thick you want this to be. No curve modifier, no array modifier, nothing. But here's where shit gets really crazy. I'm gonna pull this to the side just so I can demonstrate it to you a little bit better. Right now, this is shaped like a circle and it currently has, it looks like 12 edges, all right? You can make this into any other shape. It doesn't have to be a circle. Here's how you do that. Instead of picking round, click on profile, okay? Now you can manually create any kind of shape that you want for this. Right now it's a straight line, so it kind of turned this into a square, but you can move these vertices around and look what happens when you move them around. You can shape this like a star shape. You can make it more like this. You can make it more like a square. You can shape it into any fucking shape that you can possibly think of and turn that into a cable. Tell me this isn't the craziest shit you've seen all day. But in this case, we just want to use the round option because we just need a simple cable. So we're gonna leave it at that. So we're gonna bring this back to our boiler and you can still modify this super easily by just dragging the curve around and just placing it somewhere else and doing whatever you want you can reshape it into anything you want you can even duplicate some geometry and make another uh, cable with the same width with the same shape and whatever right and the best part is this is currently not a mesh but you can turn it into a mesh so you can modify the individual vertices and edges and to do that just go to object mode object menu convert to mesh and now this is no longer curved now this is just a regular fucking two regular mesh this is what you would have created if you would have used a curve modifier and array modifier, if you would have applied the modifiers, this is what you would get. So now you can model something on these edges if you want to, and you can do whatever you want with this. Now I know this sounds fucking crazy, but it's true, believe me. You can use this technique to make icons, stencils, logos. This is what I use to create these icons right here that I need for my supercar. On Patreon, we're making a course for how to model an entire Lamborghini Countach. And right now we're focusing on the center console where we have some buttons. So we need to make the custom icons because it's hard to find this shit on Google. I use this technique that I showed you to make these buttons. I know you're probably thinking I'm fucking crazy, but it works, all right? You don't have to do this in any other program. So if you want to see how I modeled this entire center console so far and how I textured the buttons right here to give them the exact icons that they're supposed to have. And if you want to see how we're gonna make all this other shit, the entire interior for this car, and we're also gonna model the exterior when we get there, then check out my Patreon, the link is below. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'll see you in the next one.